Hello everyone, I'm really sorry that I haven't videoed in a long time, but I've been working on this motor, and I got the thing put back together, and I must have done okay, because when I spin it with the battery, there's no collision between lifters and cylinders, pistons I should say. Because on a motor like this, there would be interference if the lifters were out of sync with the swing of the piston. There's five valves per cylinder. You have three intake, two exhaust. The whole top of the cylinder head is pure valves. So... Yeah, there would have been collision. Now, there's a chance that it could be off by one tooth, something like that, but I don't think it is. So, that's what I've been working on. I got a wiring harness, which is covering the top of it. Also, my impact driver. <laughs> I'll get that off of there. So, I have hooked up all the plugs that go to the engine except for the coils because I have not gotten them yet so I'm waiting on that now everything seems to hook up properly even the radiator which is right over there right there sorry about the mess the confusion. I'm about to make motor mounts. I'm working on that right now for the front. The back will go, will hook into these holes here for the shaft. And there are some down here. There are also tapped holes on the bottom of the engine that can be used for, for mounting also. But I don't think I need those. So, this is uh, where I'm at right now. That's how the top will go, and these will attach into this right here. So there's three mounting points right there. That'll be one motor mount. I'm going to tie these in with half-inch steel. And what I, I have four inches to come out from this angle to come out to here, and there's going to be a bar going across with angles on the top because I need this to go ahead and rest on some steel that's part of the frame of the dune buggy. So I'm also waiting on carburetors for takes four carbs and unfortunately the carburetors for this particular engine the only ones I can find right now are 350 bucks plus shipping so it ends up being almost four hundred dollars and I just I just don't want to be that deep into the carburetors for this so what I've done is I've taken and well I got a set of carburetors for a thousand cc engine and I think that'll work I haven't gotten them yet, so I don't know 100%. I'll, uh, I'll find that out. But this thing, it turns over nicely. It seems to uh, have good compression. Once I put, the, I put the spark plugs way down in there. I don't know if you can see them. But they're deep in there. In their little homes. So... That's where I'm at. I'm about to do some welding. I'm gonna actually going to make a frame that's going to go around the front of the engine. And I have to leave room, of course, for that, which is the exhaust. And it, that, some people I've seen flip them over so the exhaust comes up and over the engine. I don't want to do that. I'm going to keep it under so... Which does make it so I can't have it sit as low. 
I guess the advantage of going over the top of the engine is you can have the weight really low. But, eh, I don't think I need to do that. As you can see, this is a, that's for the clutch. It is hydraulic, which is uh, different from most motorcycle engines I've dealt with, or I should say transmissions. And then we have an alternator or a generator. I'm not sure exactly if it's which one it is. They work about the same for all intents and purposes. There's the starter. Right here I have the little the gaskets for uh, the exhaust. The little rings that make a good seal. Yeah, so you can see right here where I've hooked it up to the engine um, and then the coils when I get them they hook on here I believe now I haven't been using any kind of wiring diagram <laughs> which I should but I don't have one I have been doing a little Google research but there is not a lot of information on the YZF750R um, building and wiring and blah 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 I can I'm going to buy a book um, by Chilton's or whatever Haynes whatever I can get and then I can make sure I'm wiring it correctly So there we have it. All right. Thank you very much. I will film the mounts that I make when I am done. All right. Take care.